This is the U.S. intelligence agency, Mind Control. Man, I am really, really crossing my fingers for this. This is like, uh, this this could be a turning point, you know? But Much in the same fingers. way that, like, uh, everyone looked towards you must have known you were the UK wrong for Brexit. You were dipped uh, inside me. You know, France after the, um, what was what was the, the, the killings there? Because they drew the Prophet Muhammad? What were the, um, the one that led to a drastic shift in Charlie treatment Hebdo. and perception of uh, Muslims in France? Hebdo, thank you, the Hebdo killings. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I completely I blanked on the name. Uh, or any number of things happening in, 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 in Germany. You know, this could be one I of those, don't like, know the name. Points, I can just one say... Where things change for the good, for once, you know? The, the How much new information? The magazine targeted. And mm. it's, like, it's, it's... People know. It, well, like, it really, it really brought into question, like... You know, it's like this whole burning the Quran thing that just happened from the info mm, agents, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Except this is like a satire newspaper in France that was known to be controversial, right? Yeah. And they did it specifically to piss people off. And it brought into question because they retaliated. They were firebombed, mm. right? Yeah. So um, it brought into question this whole like censorship and free speech type thing, you know? Like, are we going to allow this? Allow no. what? Intolerance for free speech? Yeah. <laughs> well it's like even it's, south park does. Is. south park even comes back around so like it starts with that magazine but then south park mm. even is getting on in it years later mm. right and um there's like a there's a filmmaker who was murdered right mm. he made a movie it was like a exploitation type movie with okay. a script, but like it was about how like Muslim women are forced to wear the burqa and get beaten by their husbands and stuff. And it's just okay. like a lot of stuff like my husband's angry fist on my bleeding swollen face, you know? It's like a okay. it's like her giving like a spoken word thing with a face obscured type thing. Um, but they got really mad about that and they fucking um like ran over the director and backed up over him a few times or Jesus. something, I believe. And they told the the when they because like they famously cut to black where it's like this is what the original thing was supposed to be here in, mm. in the Mohammed episode yeah yeah they said that they were they told literally they like the letters they sent Comedy Central and the show creators said that they were going to end up like that guy who was killed for making this movie <laughs> you know the funniest thing about South Park after all that cooled down I'm pretty sure they came out and said Mohammed's been in so many episodes we just didn't tell you. <laughs> well, like even they stopped airing it, but there was a Super Friends parody. Yes, that had Muhammad in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But they just never told you, so you could be, you could draw Muhammad all you fucking want. Yeah, and you that's the thing people. is, it's also distorted because it's seen as just like, oh, they drew Muhammad, right? Mm. It's but not. No, they also it, they were him, making light of yeah. Islam and mocking mm. the Prophet. So yeah. it's it's not just drawing. In fact, there yeah. are. Guess what? There are drawings of Muhammad that were drawn <laughs> by Muslims. But it still, it still doesn't excuse the fact that it's just intolerance for things that you don't like. Exactly like Vosh in the first video. Mm -hmm. Do we have? So the man with a very strange head shape, but a good. Vosh suit. wants to Charlie Hebdo people who ride motorcycles. Uh, he Macron. said he wants <laughs> police to beat them uh, with hammers. <laughs> Well, the oh, snap yeah. election as a way of shoring up voter confidence yeah. following his defeat in the EU parliamentary yeah. elections. Uh, and then, here, the left get their shit together fairly fast, almost immediately announcing the creation of a popular front that gathers all the left-wing parties. Very exciting. Hilariously, Raphael Glucksmann, Gluck, 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 the head, I'm sorry, the head candidate of the Socialist Party for EU elections, tried to prevent the alliance, uh, the alliance by going on TV to list some ridiculous preconditions for it, but literally no one listened to him and they went forward with it. Okay, I don't know why he would do that. That's pretty bad. Many memes on Glucksmann effectively pushing himself out of the French left. He was never actually in the left anyhow. Okay. It's on the right that things really start to go wild. Yes, yes, yes. So the head of the conservative party, in France suggested they coalition with Le Pen, the fascists. And nobody in the conservative group liked that. They all hated it. And they immediately moved to oust him and he prevented them from ousting him as leadership by physically blocking them from holding the ousting vote. He shut down the party headquarters to prevent them from being able to remove him as the head of the conservative party. Which seems to me like a pretty sort of uh, robust China confirmation shit. that uh, the conservatives will not be allying with Le Pen.
Has anything else happened since? The general secretary of the party, Annie Genevard, who had spare keys, got into the party headquarters and managed to open the doors. I can't believe this happened, man. Literally, they needed to have spare keys. Like, literally, like, they were just locked out. The political desk of Les, Les Republicains announces that they've met, decided to fire Kyoti as president of the party. This is great for me because over, so one, like, unironic, genuine L for America, like where France is kind of mugging us here, is that our conservatives, even our moderate conservatives, have always been willing to work with the worst elements of the far right if it was even remotely politically expedient. Like, even the most, uh, you know, uh, with the exception of very few, like, I don't know, Romney, Mc McCain, and even then, like, only barely, like, our moderate Republicans are right now, overwhelmingly, they're just like, yeah, no, we are, like, supporting open white nationalist rhetoric and, and political uh, sort of um, strategizing, so-called moderates. So the fact that in France, their conservatives were so opposed to the idea of allying with fascists that they ousted their party lead immediately, it means they have principles. That's nice. Or at the very least, it's more politically expedient for them to not be fascists, but that's fine. Chiodi begs to differ and says the meeting that fired him didn't conform with the rules of the party, so he is in fact still the president of the party? Wait, what? Is he, ref is he refusing to leave? Kyori claims that 80 Republican MPs are with him and ready to campaign under Le Pen's banner. Where? Where, motherfucker? Where? I have not seen any of that. Where? Kyori still controls Les Republicains' Twitter account. The president of the Republicans is and will remain Eric Kyori. He also had the vice president of the party, Gilham Carillon, on his side with Marine Le Pen and Jordan Bardea. We share 90 to 95 percent of the same ideas. For the right, things are pretty wild, too. Marion Merechal, granddaughter of Le Pen, who had joined Zemmour. Sorry, Jean-Marie Le Pen. Zemmour instead of her family announced on live feed she wants to ally with the RN next to Zemmour, who apparently hadn't been consulted. What the f is going on in France, dude? This is so much. Oh my god. I wish American politics were this chaotic. Honestly, it'd make for great content. This is this is this is insane. Meanwhile, Macron shoots at the newly formed Popular Front, essentially saying that those who join it are anti-Semites. Great, thank you. Classic. Worked for Corbin. In other wild news, Elaine Finkelkraut, one of France's foremost Jewish intellectuals, says he might be obliged to vote for Le Pen in order to block anti-Semitism. As a reminder, Le Pen's party was co-founded by Pierre Bosquet a former Waffen-SS, okay. What even is France? I don't know. It looks like they're having fun over there. So that was 72 hours in France's political life. Cool. Huge majority of voters on the left favorable to the Popular Front Alliance. 97% of LFI voters won it, as well as 86% of Socialist voters and 77% of Greens. Les Républicains voters, about half split on an alliance with Le Pen. 53% agree. Overwhelming support among Zemmour voters for an alliance with Le Pen. Hmm. Okay, you're back. I now gotta I can... say, man, the Popular Front is... Now you can pause while I talk about Islam. Okay. So the Quran itself... <laughs> the Quran itself does not say anything forbidding depicting the Prophet. So what it specifically is... is So, like, in Christianity, there's a lot... Or Catholicism specifically, there's, like, stained glass windows with saints... You know, lots of representations of Jesus, you know. You don't pray or worship those stained glass windows. You might pray towards a cross, but it's, the cross is a little bit, you know, it's, but it's like thinking that a Muslim would like pray towards the image of like the crescent moon, right? Those are not images of worship. So that's idolatry, right? It's like, that's like, you aren't supposed to worship images of the saint or worship images of Jesus. You know, and so that said, uh, there's, you know, a whole wiki on here, right? Talking about it. And if we go down here, see, here's some depictions of them. But if we go down here, look, there's all this historical depictions. And um, there's a legend here. It's like, um, Yeah, in the 17th century Chinese Muslim story, the emperor asked to see Muhammad, who instead sent a portrait. The king was so enamored with the portrait, he converted to Islam, at which point the portrait, having done its job, disappears. Pretty cool story, I think. Little little short historical story. Here's literally Mecca. You can see Mecca here. But then if you keep going down, these are just... You know, Dante's Inferno, it shows him being pulled into hell. That's controversial, am I right? Some carvings and stuff. So this is non-Christians, you know. 
And then, oh, South Park. Just keep scrolling down. Oh, and there's there's the there's those things. Now we're on a list. We showed them. They're coming for us now. We showed them. Are you, are you talking? Because you muted. I don't think I've ever actually seen the pictures to make yeah, it. Yeah, they're fucking honest. like so stupid. That was awful. That's yeah. what it was over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> going to have to climb up a pretty goddamn steep mountain in order to compete with the coalition that Le Pen is building. How is France so based on worker rights but so fascist at the same time? Minorities. Literally everything that's happening right now is racism. France has always been the most anti-black. Like, maybe I'm, maybe I'm overstating my case. France is an extremely anti-black country. Like, France's colonial record in, in, from history to now, almost entirely just like, what if we fucked over West Africa? Like constantly, you know, more anti-Arab. Oh, you know, I mean, they're, they, they're, they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. They still run half of Africa. Yeah, basically just it's, it's all race shit. You know, what happened to Tommy Sankara again? Oh, you know, just a bit of fun. Friends single-handedly disproving my class reduction stakes. That's why, that's why you never succumb to class reductionism. Social identity is also a material condition. Would you go to a black man in the Oh my god, shut him, up. Like, his condition is Speak one described English. by poverty and nothing else. Ridiculous. Dude, Obviously, so like, a the socialists, they did this, like, it was like it a is Sailor a level Moon to the analysis. thing where they were like doing the voiceover for Sailor Moon. Oh, it was like changing the subtitles, right? Because there's like they, the cops, they see cops and they're like, they're not really cops. They're like demons, you know, from the evil queen lady or whatever. Yeah. But they taught, they're like, you know they're 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 like saying like these are cops we're fine to kill them and they're like yeah they're class traders i immediately stopped watching i'm like do not call police class traders that's fucking cringe shut the fuck up just fucking flip their cars over stop with this nonsense speak english nobody knows what that means this is why nobody likes you people Class reductionism is and always has been a way of uh, attempting to sandblast progressivism away or off of uh, left coalition advocacy. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Some of the most progressive policies came from Nixon. Are you aware of a CIA psychological profile about you, sir? Would you be interested in hearing what the CIA had to say? This secret study portrays as a brilliant but dangerous megalomaniac who is likely to pursue his own aims in disregard of U.S. interests. He's an uncertain ally. Shall I go on or would you prefer that I stop, sir? <laughs>